Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you don't know my voice, uh, my name is Stephanie Jean and this is my channel where I like to talk about stuff on the internet. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my notebook and how I've been taking notes from my textbook uh, this last month. Um, some of you guys might know that I have recently started a degree program at National University and it's been a little bit of a learning curve because the entire semester is shortened down into four weeks. So it's been kind of crucial that I get through all of my course content as quickly as possible because the course doesn't last that long. So here you can see that um, I have listed out the learning outcomes and assignments for each week on the left-hand side. And I do this so I have a really quick reference to go back to because the syllabus is a little uh, confusing. So I have that there and you can see I have the tabs for each week so it's easy to flip back to it. And then I immediately jump into my reading notes because that's the first thing I do each week is my assigned reading. And I highlight each header, I box subheaders, and I um, underline with the highlighter vocabulary words. And then once I get to the end of each chapter, there are review questions, and I decided to try and do the Cornell note style uh, notes for the review questions. So I just numbered them out and responded to them there. Each week we have about four chapters to go through and I was doing it where I would type out the review questions and print those out as a study guide but I was using a lot of ink that way and ink is <laughs> printer ink is expensive so I decided not to do that anymore and to just handwrite it and honestly I like handwriting anyway because it's more mm, I don't want to say like aesthetically pleasing but it makes me enjoy it a little bit more, although I was having a good time with the printed out study guides as well. I find myself interacting with them written out more than when I type them. Now this class that I'm taking uh, for the month of February is a communications class and it's like a beginner communication public speaking class. So a lot of it has kind of felt like review and I probably didn't need to do as much work with the reading as I did. Um, especially with my reading notes. A lot of it kind of felt like review for me, but I wanted to kind of establish the habit early of doing more work than I think I need to because when I get into more difficult classes, classes that focus on the law and, um, you know, being a paralegal, which is what my degree is in, I want to make sure that I'm in the habit of giving the course the due diligence that it needs. In case I don't understand a concept, I've gotten into the habit of putting in so many hours for it. So that has been something that I've kind of been struggling with a little bit because I feel like I'm putting a lot of work in for something that isn't very difficult, but it's about establishing those habits early. So when I'm in a more difficult class, it's not as um, overwhelming, I guess. Luckily for this class, it's just been reading from one book. It's been like four chapters a week, and there's been discussion boards on the online class forum site, and then we have a speech every week because it's a public speaking class. Um, but next month, or starting next week, actually, I start my next class, which is Legal Theory and Ethics. Ooh, legal Theory and Ethics. And I already feel a little overwhelmed by that class. It seems like a very adult class, especially since um, my experience in higher education so far has mostly been English classes and theater classes. So I don't know, I'm a little, a little nervous for it, but I'm also really excited. And I feel like the habits that I've gotten myself into this last month are really going to help me in that course and in future courses and then eventually in my career as well. And I really do like this setup of National University of one class at a time and their four-week classes rather than the um, what I think is the average 
kind of set up what I did at uh, the CSU I was going to was it was like the semester system had you doing like six classes over 15 weeks and then I don't know for me I just would get so burnt out so fast and then I would have to pick like I can't do all of my energy to all of these classes for this long so I don't know maybe that's just a me thing but I definitely think this setup is working a lot better for me and my um, endurance, I guess, when it comes to school. So that's cool. And I like it. I like that it switches up every month and that the the class seems very doable. Like nothing is, nothing so far has seemed like it's going to be too much for me to handle. Although that might change when I have my baby in May and I'm still taking classes. So that's a little... That that makes me a little nervous, but that's going to be because I'm a new mother with with my classes rather than just the classes themselves being difficult. As far as supplies, I am using the Midliner highlighter, this uh, golden yellow color, and then the Pilot, I believe it's the G7 or G2.707.07 millimeter thing. Um, I just got them at Target and I love them. I've been using them for the whole book, essentially. I'm also using the Mead 5-star College Ruled um, composition book, but it doesn't stay closed for some reason, so I have this binder clip that I use on the spine to keep it closed. I was putting it on the front of the book, but then I started using the tabs and it's just, it works fine on the spine as well, so yeah. And then my textbook is on my iPad for this class, and I'm renting it, which is, you know, a lot cheaper. So if you're in college or you're going into college, I highly recommend looking into renting ebooks for your textbooks rather than buying them. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions about anything, um, let me know in the comments. As always, you can follow me online at p underscore Stephanie Jean. And I will see you in a new video next week. Bye.